Well, so do you get any performance increases by swapping out your hard drive in your PlayStation 3 to an SSD? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be discovering today. Hey guys, and welcome back. And before we continue, it's important to note that the PlayStation 3 is limited by USB 2.0 and SATA 2, and that will cripple the performance of any modern hard drive or SSD these days, since they are SATA 3. Well, I swapped my hard drive with a Samsung 860 EVO 500GB SSD and did some testing with it. So the four tests that I will begin with, that it's not very common to test, but I thought it was fun, so why not? So the first test is to copy a package file from a USB drive to the storage drive and then installing that package file and creating backups with the uh, multi-man because I have jailbroken PlayStation 3 and it's no point in having a non-jailbroken one these days. And I tested the load times of the game that I backed up. So without any further ado, let's get right into the tests. So for the first test is to copy a 3.6GB package file from USB to storage. It's not a big difference here, it's only a 15 second gap. And it's typically USB 2.0 and SATA 2 limitations for you. So the first test is done and uh, seconds doesn't bother me that much. But let's continue and see how it goes. So for test number two, I installed the said package file that we copied earlier and it was not as I expected. Only an eight second difference, which was not the benefit that I was hoping for. And for test number three, I made a backup of my copy of Modern Warfare 2 using Multiman. And it was a tie. Both did it in 14 minutes and 46 seconds and maxed out at 8.56 megabytes per second. But I was expecting this, but it was still a fun test to run. And for test number four, this is test the load times. And I only did this with one game at the moment. I might go back and do it with several more games, but let's start with one. So I launched Collision Modern Warfare 2 and ran a Spec Ops map. And the load times was no difference at all. 16 seconds for both the SSD and the hard drive. So the test with the load times was the one that I had most hopes for, but I mean, Modern Warfare 2 might not be that hard to load. I mean, there are games that are way worse than this, like GTA 5. And if I can find my old copy somewhere, I might uh, test it. It might be in a box or something. And now you might wonder why I ran some of the tests that I did, and uh, it was pretty simple. I didn't want to leave anything on the table. That could be a benefit for the SSD, except for today there's no really no difference to buy a new hard drive unless you want some crazy amounts of storage. But I mean SSDs are cheap enough these days, so there's really no point in going with a hard drive. And SSD is quieter. Even though you won't notice the hard drive at all, because the PS3 is in general loud if you have the fat one, but the only PS3 to have is the backwards compatible model. And well, that's it for this time. I hope you have enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon in the next one. <laughs>